Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. Today your hardware is almost definitely vulnerable to serious malware attacks. AMD finished Zen 3, the RX 5700 XT isn't going anywhere, and Nintendo is working on more Switch models. But first, check out today's sponsor, Drop. Formerly known as Mass Drop, a group buy website with amazing deals on PC hardware. It's free to sign up, so what are you waiting for? Start saving now by visiting the link in the description below. Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, I've got a huge story around new vulnerabilities that pretty much affects everyone, and I'm really not being hyperbolic when I say that. First, what am I talking about? Well, a new report was published by the security firm Eclipsium, titled Screwed Drivers, and it's about what it sounds like. They found that over 40 hardware drivers from 20 major manufacturers are vulnerable to privilege escalation attacks. While they didn't go into too many details for obvious reasons, there's three types of attacks a hacker can use, RW everything, low jacks, and slingshot. With any of these, the vulnerabilities, quote, allow the driver to act as a proxy to perform highly privileged access to the hardware resources, such as read and write access to processor and chipset I.O. space, model-specific registers, control registers, debug registers, physical memory, and kernel virtual memory. Yeah, these are some pretty major vulnerabilities. One issue is that they latch onto the certified drivers and use them to gain this access. As for the hardware companies with affected drivers, we're talking Intel, AMD, Nvidia, Gigabyte, ASUS, ASRock, and the list goes on. The one I'm showing right here is actually just a partial list. Fortunately, they're working with the affected hardware companies to issue mitigations, and because this is on a driver level, there shouldn't be any issues. Just make sure to subscribe so you can get updates on when those go out. Next up, during AMD's presentation of their Zen 2-based Epic processors, the company discussed where they are on upcoming Zen architectures. Remember that Zen 1 is the architecture that first-gen Ryzen is built on, Zen Plus makes up second-gen, and Zen 2 is used for third-gen Ryzen. Instead of continuing with the Plus versions, AMD decided to simply follow along with numbers, so after Zen 2 is Zen 3, then Zen 4, and so on. Zen 3 will make up AMD's Ryzen 4000 processors, and it's going to be based on TSMC's 7 nanometer EUV process, which is really exciting in its own right. Either way, according to the slides shown off at their Epic event, AMD has completed their design process of Zen 3, which means they should be ready next year, and they're currently working on Zen 4. Basically, the company is still very much on track with continued improvement for Ryzen moving forward. Let's just say that with Intel's upcoming GPUs, 4th gen Ryzen from AMD, possibly 10 nanometer desktop chips from Intel, 7 nanometer GPUs from Nvidia, and more Navi, next year is going to be great for hardware enthusiasts. Next up for today, there were some rumors over the past few days claiming that AMD would be getting rid of reference design RX 5700 series boards now that custom cards are here. That would have been pretty bad news for anyone wanting a custom water-cooled 5700 XT, but luckily it doesn't seem to be true. The head of AMD's Radeon division, Scott Heckelman, replied to a comment on Twitter and basically stated that you'll still be able to purchase reference designs from AMD.com as well as from partners who use the design. So breathe a sigh of relief. Lastly, it looks like Nintendo is planning on making even more Switch consoles beyond their upcoming Switch Lite. According to the Wall Street Journal, the company is even working on models with Sharp's new indium gallium zinc oxide displays, which are the same low power displays in their 8K TVs. Basically, who knows how many models Nintendo has planned, but they obviously aren't done anytime soon. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for Zen 3, or are you just scared of all the new security issues surrounding hardware lately? Let me know down in the comments below, and if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.